would you say is the most prominent use of music in cultural diplomacy that you have witnessed? Well, I would say that um, the kind of thing we do is cultural diplomacy. I never sort of thought it dignified by that title, but um, what the Grandian Orchestra does, in effect, is bring together musicians from all parts of the world. Um, and uh, not necessarily in London, we actually work in other parts of this country and all over the world anyway. Um, but if it has any contribution to make at all, it's actually um, showing that uh, people can live and work together and it's what's called social cohesion, I suppose. But for me, it's much more important than that. It's actually a source of inspiration. You work with uh, people who have their origins in other parts of the world, who are immigrants, refugees or whatever. Um, so it's, uh, in a sense, it's giving something back, I suppose. And that says London must be uh, the perfect place for that. I remember in your in your speech you spoke about um, how your centre is in, is centred in uh, East London, I believe. Absolutely, yes. I mean, East London is very special. It's not just London either. It's kind of um, and uh, our, what we do because we've been there for so long is that um, people come out of the woodwork. And one of the great things that um, you can do if you have musicians who already come from lots of different cultures especially the professional musicians, and um, they create trust and rapport with um, uh, newly arrived communities who are, are often slightly apprehensive about uh, obviously coming to London. And then being involved in one of the a big music or creative projects obviously is another way of cementing that kind of, um, uh, that kind of opportunity. Mark, the uh, director of the ICD, has given me a copy of your, uh, your CD. Do you mind uh, doing a short brief of what no, no, it's about? This, this is um, this is just uh, highlights from um, we do we regularly do big shows in East London. We're not and that's not the only thing we do, but there's a wonderful theatre called the Hackney Empire Theatre, which takes about 1,200 people. Uh, glorious venue, and um, probably every year, sometimes a couple of times a year, we do a big show, which is has professional musicians at the core, maybe 20, 25. Uh, otherwise, it. Um, it's uh, young people, we have our own youth orchestra, and they and also come from lots of different cultures, and uh, musicians and, to a great extent, singers, who come from quite a big range of the demographic of East London. So that's a, a strong part of what we do. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Haynes. Uh, we're hoping to see you in Madrid for the next symposium, All if right. you can make it. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> great.